Hello friends and welcome to another haul video. I am so excited to show you this because this is kind of my part two of my time in London. I went there last December and of course our first stop was the making of Harry Potter where I bought a lot of stuff and did a haul video on that. I will leave it in the info cards if you want to check it out. And yeah, the next day we went to London bought a lot of stuff. I uh, mostly bought stuff at the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop and after that I bought a limited print at the house of Mina Lima which I got signed but I'm not telling you by who you just have to stick around until the end. So yeah I can't wait to show you all the stuff that I bought. If you like these kind of magical videos then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Now where are those bags? my a platform nine and three quarters bag and in there is a lot of stuff okay <laughs> I'm just gonna grab something and I'm gonna show it to you let me put it aside first up is something I think is really cool and so special it is a personalized acceptance letter and I'm just gonna give you guys a close-up because my address is on there so I'm gonna cover my address but there you go. So this is the acceptance letter. Look at that. And here you have the envelope. And at the back is my address in green ink. And then here you have the Hogwarts seal. And you can just put together your own Hogwarts acceptance letter. I am in love with this, so I'm gonna <laughs> take it out and then um, put the letter inside the envelope and post it to myself. The next thing I bought is this feather quill, which I really wanted. And it is a regular pen with a feather on there. So you don't have to use ink or something because I think I would be really bad at that. Let me give you guys a close up of the feather quill pen. So it is a beautiful feather with a pen at the bottom. Something I like to do when I'm traveling abroad is buy a magnet of the place where I went. So by tradition, I bought a Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters exclusive magnet. And this is the magnet of the platform nine and three quarters. And then I also bought three pins. And as far as I know, these are exclusive to the platform nine and three quarter shop, which I thought was pretty awesome. So, of course, the first pin had to be a Ravenclaw pin, a chocolate frog pin, there you go, and last but not least, I got a Spectre Specs Luna Love Good pin. Then, next up, I bought another 9 and 3 quarters exclusive, and that is this Golden Snitch bracelet. Look at that! That looks gorgeous and I can't wait to wear this. And to show a little bit more Ravenclaw pride, I bought this super cute scrunchie <laughs> in my house color. I've got one more item left from the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shelf and it is a wearable. I saw this hoodie and I absolutely loved it. So I had to get this. It has the Hogwarts crest on front. I love this color by the way. Um, and then at the side is a nine and three quarters logo and then at the back it is just a plain hoodie so I think this is super comfy and I can't wait to wear this as I said we also went to the house of Mina Lima and for those of you who do not know this Mina and Lima are artists that make all the paper replicas for Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts movies. They are really talented and they have this gorgeous shop in London which is so beautiful and so weird at the same time and so magical. I mean it has like four floors you could just walk around and it is a great place to just go when you're in London. But I also wanted to buy something and I did. Let me first show you the back because this is just a gorgeous bag. And I bought a print. 
The first thing you should know about these prints is that they are limited. And the one that I got, there are only 1,000 of them in the world. So that is amazing. And that also means that they are quite expensive. At least I think so. The other thing you should know that at the time I was visiting the house of Mina Lima, one of the artists was there. So when I purchased the print, they were like, you can just go downstairs and ask her to sign it. So Mina, one of the artists of the house of Mina Lima signed my print, which is insane. I mean, she is such a cool artist. And let me just show you her autograph. So here we have the certificate of authenticity and you can see that it's number 189 of 1000. And then here we have her autograph, which is so freaking cool. Are you ready? It is the burrow. Okay, so let me give you guys a close up. Look at the details. This is insane. And I haven't even shown you guys the coolest thing ever. She signed it with, you're a wizard, Leanda. <laughs> okay, honestly, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this, is just, this is just so beautiful and I can't wait to put this in a frame. So yeah, that was my time at the house of Mina Lima. I feel so fortunate that at the exact time that I was there, one of the artists was there as well. Um, yeah, I was only in London for one day, so that really is a big coincidence. And I feel really blessed that I got her autograph and this amazing print. And those are all the items in my magical haul part two. I had such a fun time showing these items to you. I feel really happy about the stuff that I bought. Uh, let me know what you thought of the items in my magical haul. Did you have a favorite item? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And all that's left for me to say is have a magical day and let's stay in touch.